Do you want to customize your avatar's thumbnail? Well, watch this video to find out how. You can get the script to do this right here, which I'll link in the description. So basically, uh, you just copy it, and then you go on Roblox. So any Roblox website is fine, like roblox.com and stuff, but I recommend going on your profile so you can reload the page and see changes. So first of all, you have to open the Chrome DevTools. Control Shift I will open it. You could actually just go up here, um, more tools and uh, developer tools. You should start here actually by default in elements, which, you know, a lot of people, a lot of you guys are um, familiar with it for, you know, the ability to inspect element. But no, we're not doing that today. So basically you have to go into sources and it's by default here, I think. So you have to um, click on this arrow right there and click on snippets. So here I made a tutorial snippet, so you just, yeah, make it, name it. So let's delete that one. So yeah, tutorial, and and here's your code. So what it does is it goes into Roblox's avatar API's endpoint, which is thumbnail customization, right? And you can base, and there are parameters you can change in it, like the distance scale, field of view, rotation of the camera, and X and Y, like, but it's always looking at your avatar. And also emote asset ID, which you can, your avatar can actually like do an emote, but you have to own that emote in your inventory, so. And then thumbnail type, so you can separately edit this. For example, you can have one combination for your headshot and another for your full body shot. So yeah, one thing to say before you actually, you know, run this is, you can't reverse this, like this is irreversible unless you like know the exact numbers to like change it to like how it looked default. So yeah, once you run, there's there's no going back until you know Roblox releases like a revert button. So I recommend like if you do want this, just try edit it until you know you like how it looks. So if I run this right now, so this should change my close up. Wait a second before reloading instantly because it takes a like it takes not that much time but it takes time for roblox to actually generate the image so as you can see it's just looking straight at the camera which is yeah just people's fin but oh look uh Wobi also just found out about it and changed it and eventful like it's pretty funny that's mostly roblox developers doing this but yeah you can literally just do custom like he did this because of he did this by changing the emote asset ID for the body full body shot which should just be two. So and yeah and then for as well. So you change this headshot. So yeah and you can so basically 0 0.5 zooms in and four zooms out. So if I quickly do 0 0.5 it should yeah I'm like it's really zoomed in. It's just you can it's like an extreme close up of my face. And if you do four it's going to be really zoomed out. Yeah it's really zoomed out. Um so let's make it back to one and you can change the field of view which it I guess I don't know just doesn't really change much to be honest. So and then X rotation. So if I make this 20 it actually makes the camera go up, but it's like looking down. Yeah, you can see that I'm not looking down, it's the camera looking down at me. And also you can like, with emotes, you can like kind of change how your head looks. So if I go on, so I've seen screenshots that this person has also done this and he like flipped this head like sideways, which was basically done by with that. I think they did this by using like an emote that like helps you know tilt your head and they just zoomed in on it. That's pretty cool. So let's get an emote. Let's do the hype dance is a good example. So you just copied the ID of it. And yeah, and you can see me doing the emote, which is pretty cool. And also make sure that all of, all of your numbers are basically inside the ranges. And to just remove the emote, just make it a zero as your ID. So yeah, let's change it to my, just my settings, which I made earlier. So this is full body, this is full head. Like I recommend you like saving this somewhere. If, if there's like, if you like a certain pose, I recommend you save it. 
And a final thing is that when you change your Roblox avatar, the camera's, the camera's angles and positions stay the same. So what I mean by this, if you change your Roblox character, so let me change to Builder Man. And uh, reload. Yeah, and it's and it's the same angles and stuff, but it's different avatar. So finally, I wanted to show you how it looks like in game. So if I join this game, so the thing is that this is global. This isn't just local, so other people can see it on, you know, the website and in game. So like, if you click on yourself, you can see the custom angle. Like this looks pretty good. So examine yeah it shows up here and in the playlist. Like, it's pretty tiny, but you can see it's the custom one doing the hype dance. And that's pretty much it. It's not really complicated, it's just some JavaScript which you can change the numbers of. So yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, which I may do. And I may also make videos talking about Roblox games, which I plan to do in the future. So yeah, see you in another video.